Hi, I'm Joshua from SharePad and in this video, let's have a look at charts. Whilst we can make changes to any setting, let's start off by creating a new one. To do this, head over to the setting menu at the bottom and then click on create new. I'm just going to name this setting Joshua setting and then click OK. So the first thing that I'm going to change is the chart time frame. So let's click on custom at the top and then on a number of months and let's change this to three. And now let's click OK. Next, I'm going to change chart type by clicking on chart at the top and then on candlesticks. I want to be able to compare the current share against the FTSE 100. So let's click on add at the top, additional graph sector, nav, etc. With share or index selected, click on create. Scroll to the major indices list and let's search for the FTSE 100. Then click OK a few times. Next, let's head over to design in the bottom left. On the chart tab, we can see the main chart type that we've selected here. And we can also change the colouring mode just below. So let's change that to a close slash open. Here we can change the up colour. So let's change this by clicking on the colour swatch and then on a lovely green colour. There's an option at the bottom of this tab to fill rising candlesticks, which I'll turn on. Next, let's make use of this green preview button to see the changes that we've made so far without leaving the chart design menu. Let's next head over to the axes tab. Now here we can see we don't have anything currently showing on the left Y axis. So let's click on that and change it to start at 100. This is quite useful when comparing multiple shares or a share against an index such as the FTSE 100. Next, let's head over to the style tab. Now here we can see we've currently got a graduated fill as the background from a light gray to white. Now let's click on these color swatches and change it to a dark teal and a black. And now let's quickly click preview to see this change. Let's next head over to the watermarks tab. Here we have options to turn on or off the watermarks for the TIDM, market close and price change. I'm going to leave these on and next head over to the volume tab. Here we can tick if we want a volume histogram shown. There's an option here where you can merge it with the price chart, which I'm going to turn off for now. We've also got options to add a signal line and to change the colouring mode. But I'm now happy with all of the changes that I've made so far, so I'm going to click OK. So we can now go through a list of instruments and see all of the price changes with this new setting. One last thing, we can add this setting to the toolbar so we can quickly switch between our different settings. We can see it appears here, so now I can quickly select a point of figure chart and then quickly head back. Become a better investor with SharePad and discover the advantage. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more quick tips, features and tutorials.